Well, I think my adrenaline is so high that my nose keeps running all the time. I'm, I'm sure it's that. I am. Um, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. Incredibly honoured to receive this, especially from Sir Ian as well. That is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm just thrilled. You know, it's been. Um, I just feel incredibly fortunate because I, I I do do a job that I love and there isn't a day when I, when I go to work when um, when I don't love it um, and I've had this opportunity to work with sounds like I'm retiring I'm not but I have had this amazing opportunity to work with extraordinary people experts in their field and the longer I'm in the industry the more of them I'm meeting which is fantastic and the younger they're getting too um, I mean, it's what can I say? I just need to digest it, I think, probably. And then I'll wake up in the morning and I look at it on my kitchen table and think, oh, my God, right, okay, that was a night. Where are you going to put it? I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue at the moment. Um, I'm sure it will take uh, pride of place somewhere. And such a fabulous moment, not just this award, but for Happy, no, Valley, Happy Valley as well. well. Yeah. It just must be a whirlwind year. <laughs> it is, I, and I, like I say, when I when I I look back, I mean, Happy Valley has been over ten years of, of my life, and there's another Sally Wainwright piece sort of intercut there with Last Tango in Halifax, and then looking back, sort of decade by decade, nearly four decades now, um, and the people I've worked with and the shows I've done, and. Um, I can't quite believe, actually, that I've been involved with, with so many shows and so many productions. Um, but I think my abiding thought when I, when I look at the shows that I do is how blessed I am to have worked with the writers that I've worked with, some extraordinary writers. I've just mentioned a few out there now, you know, from the Coronation Street days of, of Paul Abbott and Frank Hoshall Boyce and Sally Wainwright and Julian Roach and, and um, John Stevenson. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Uh, and it, Writers are the backbone of our industry, not just drama. They're the backbone of, of journalism. They're the backbone of, of scripted reality. It's in every single corner of our industry. And uh, we, we must value them. We really, really must value them. They're so important. None of us would be here without writers. They're sitting at home writing their copy, their column, their commentary, their, their script. You know, they are precious, precious people. Great commodity. They're very important at the minute with the, the strikes that are on in America. Very. It's very timely with the strikes. And if we don't value them, then it means that, in truth, we don't really value our own industry. And it is, it is very important, not just for marquee names to get jobs. There are thousands and thousands of writers around and we need to find a way to, for them all to have their voices heard. And I think very much that's what they're fighting for in, in America. But, you know, that, it, it, it applies over here too. Um, I, think, um, I think we're probably a little bit more inclusive here. Um, but heavens, they, they make the world go round. They really do. Writers make the world go round. And a, a bit of a harder question for you. You've played so many iconic characters that have gone down in acting history. Who do you miss playing the most? Do you know, it's interesting. I, I miss all of them in, in, in a particular way, but they don't really leave you. They just take up residence in a, a little corner somewhere inside, just quiet and benignly sitting there. Um, and so I will always have them with me. And was it quite hard to say goodbye to Kathy? Yes, I think it was hard to say goodbye to, but in truth, it's a brutal role to play. Um, and uh, you, you have to know uh, when enough is enough, really. Even just for, for the sake of your health, you, you can't keep repeatedly playing that role. And Sally knows that, and, and we knew very much 
how much mileage there was in her and probably how much mileage there was in me as well. And so. Sally's very clever with the way she writes. She always leaves a few little open-ended cliffhangers here and there. Well, I think she's great because she doesn't complete everything. You know, but I think it's because she needs the audience. She wants the audience to go away and think for themselves. She's not going to present them with everything, you know. She challenges her audiences, which is which is great. Are you ever tempted to ask her what she would want for the ending? No, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm putty in her hands, really. She's, she is a remarkable writer. She is a genius. And we normally wait until people have moved on <laughs> before we say that. But she is a genius, a, a rare commodity. And uh, she is very valued. People, you know, they, they do look after her because they recognise that she has this exceptional talent. And... Um, as and when we collaborate again, I I just yield, give into it, and just um, marvel really in where she she will take me because whatever we do together, she will always challenge me, always, and I I need that. I need constantly to be challenged. So I guess if she knocked on the door, it's the easiest yes ever. Totally. It's to be like when do we start?